Hey guys, it's Crypt Trader again. I wanted to make a video on the updates for Digitex this week. We have a lot to be excited about with the mainnet launching and onboarding the first 20 traders next Monday, April 27th. I was lucky enough to be one of those traders and I plan to make some content for you guys as soon as I gain access. Even if you don't have access, I believe you'll be able to view the mainnet by going up here and then switching you know, from testnet to mainnet, but I'm not 100% sure. There'll be more news on that soon. Now. The main update that just came out today was the mobile responsive UI. It is now live for testnet. And so if you want to check that out, what you need to do is go onto your phone and search for Digitex Futures on your browser. Once you're there, you'll see it's the first one and just click exchange under that first option, Digitex Futures, and go to view live testnet. And now you can put your email and your password in and log in. Once you log in, you'll get it, this loading bar here. It only takes a second to open, and you'll have your mobile responsive UI. So you can see the ladder, you can see all the different options you have here. So if you click the gear up in the top right, you can look and see all the different themes. See, I'm flipping through the different themes here. So you have your Digitex, the Cyberpunk, the dark theme, and then this is the light theme. But if we just go back to this gear, you can see the different themes, the ladder on which side, and what graph type you want to use. Some users, including myself, are not able to get the graph type to display in this area to the left where you can either have the order depth, the spot price, or the ticks shown, but it's currently being worked on and should be resolved soon. Now if you select the three bars up in the top right, you can see that you have all your uh, menu options that would be on the desktop version of the exchange. You have the futures menu, you have the spot menu, you have your community tab, the tournaments tab, account tab, help, and obviously your logout button. Now if I go back to the ladder, you can see that you can go up and down on the ladder very easily just using your thumb on the screen. And if you want to place a trade, you can just select from one of your pre-select contract sizes down along this bottom row. You can see you have 1, 5, 10, and 25. I'm going to select 25 in this instance right here. And then I'm going to place a long at 7500. And you can see whenever I do that, I get a pop-up window that has my order details. Now, if you don't want to see this again when you're scalping, then click the Don't Show Again checkbox here, and then just select Buy. And you can see my, my order of 25 contracts shows up at 7500 on the ladder waiting to be filled. Now, if I would like to add any more orders, I can just click the column next to the price that I want to add orders to, and I won't have that pop up again. And if I want to remove the orders, I can just simply click the orders to remove them. And I'll show where I add some on the sell side here as well. And if you want to cancel all of them, instead of clicking each one individually, you can just click at the top of the column where it says 75, and that will cancel all your orders on the sell side. And if you look in the bottom right, you have the leverage tab. And if you click the leverage tab, you can see that it's just like it is on the desktop version where you have a slider and also a dial where you can dial in your exact leverage but in this case we'll use the slider and you can see that I can slide the leverage from the left to the right to go down with the leverage or back up with the leverage. Now if you notice at the very bottom of the screen you can see a little arrow that's pointing up and what that means is to use your thumb to swipe up on the screen and when you do that you'll see all these new options here you have trades, tools, orders, and chart. Those are all the same tabs that you would have on desktop and so I can quickly go through all these. Under the trades tab you can see that you have the recent trades which is just the time and sales and then you also have your my trades which shows your trades that you have taken in the session. And the next tab over is tools which is basically just like the traditional order box like you would see on any other futures exchange where you can do limit market and have all your stop orders set there. And the next tab over from that is orders where you can see your order history and your trade history. The last tab is the chart. So you can actually pull up the trading view chart. This is currently not loading on my device. This is something else that's being looked into and should be resolved soon. But the last thing that I want to show is that you still have the support button on the mobile UI. So when you click that, then you can type in whatever it is you might have a question on. In this example, I'll just say stop loss. I want to know something about stop loss. I can do that. What it does is it'll search through a library of information that Digitex has accumulated on that topic. If your topic in question cannot be answered using this support search function, or you have a suggestion or an issue with this mobile UI, just go to live chat down in the bottom right, and you can start a live chat with a representative from Digitex. 
by just in inserting your name, email, and then whatever message it is that you would like them to see. And click Start Chat. This mobile version is still a work in progress, so I highly recommend, especially as an early user of the mobile version, to enter as many issues and suggestions as you can, since the more feedback we give now, the better the end product will be. So I hope you guys give it a shot over the coming days, and stay tuned for more content from me when I begin trading on the mainnet. See you guys next time.